Now, sometimes these branching paths also lead to different levels. There's several different paths we can take to get to the end of the game, some of them longer or shorter than others. This one also has an alternate path. We can break this glass in the background. That's not necessary. It's probably the coolest one, the uh, coolest split path in the game, just because it makes sense. It's not just there for no reason. Well, when we get there, I'll show it off. Because I actually prefer the path that it takes us on. I'm just breaking glass because it's fun. It is not my intention to sound sexist when I say this, but sometimes it's just fun throwing bitches through glass windows. And bitches doesn't have to mean females. But this guy right here is a bitch too. Boom. Broken. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think the computer knows how to use their super. It's been a while since I've played this game, but I don't remember ever seeing that happen. We get to the third phase of this first opening area, and there over there is a bus terminal marker that I just broke. That just changed our path. Silly. You can't hit me right now. I'm doing stuff. So if we leave that there, then the level continues. And a bus shows up, and we fight people on top of the bus because, I don't know, final fight? It's just a thing you do in Metro City, but nobody really asks questions about it. As it is, since we broke it, that's the end of the level. Play the music. We did it. That easy, baby! <laughs> Lucy was actually showing off a cool combo there, but she didn't hit most of it. She missed the ender. But she did the four of the five hits of a regular combo and then went into a running combo, which is another option you can do. I don't think Hagger can because he's not really oriented around quick combos. I don't think he gets like punch punch clothesline. He does get punch punch lariat, and I haven't gotten that to come out yet. There we go. Case in point. Those are the optimal combos, because Punch 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 does decent damage, but Punch Punch Fireball Ender for characters does more. Get up, I want to suplex you. Yeah. Oh, we just got the slowdown going, too. Oh, I had a super. Quick, get up. Get up. Come here. <laughs> Lucia knows he's dead. I'm just looking to move on. We just clotheslined an oil drum because that's how we do things in Metro City. For Hagrid's clothesline to be worthwhile, you gotta catch it deep. There we go, that's a little better. You wanna have to get as many hits as possible. If you just hit the end of it, it's not really that good of damage. It's even worse than like the drop kick, which is not very good. Whoops. Wanna jump kick, but because of the slowdown, got Lariat instead. Oh no, it's Andor. Who's clearly not Andre the Giant, and how dare you suggest such a thing? Oh, he walked over to my grapple. <laughs> so what you get for interrupting my combo. It's also fun to call them Andorre. Spanish man of mystery. Oh. Oh, well, it's only appropriate that we do this. I mean, why wouldn't I? You do have to use the supers in a certain amount of time, as you may have noticed from Lucia's bar. If you don't, it just goes away after a while. We have up three more lives <laughs> than Lucia does. She's died once and we haven't, and we've gotten enough points for two one-ups, I think. Get up, sir. Johnny, Gabriel, whatever your name is. This game also probably has my favorite music in the series. There's a couple tracks from 2 I really like, and a couple of the original that are iconic, especially the first stage. They've essentially become Guy and or Cody's theme in different things. Quick! Yeah, this is unnecessary. No, Lucia, get out of there! She just 
just feels bad because we're taking all the screen time. She wants Dean to get a shot. We can talk for a minute about the weapons. There's that hammer there. I used one earlier. You couldn't really see it. I'll try and show this one off better. Hagger just chucks this thing. Ready? Yeah, I just devastated Lucia too. But I killed the hell out of the other two over there. Lucia, it was necessary for science. I'm really sorry, though. I didn't mean for it to be this way. Oh my god, so slow. Come here, we gotta kill you so we can get the game going again. The thing I don't really understand about the slowdown is how it made it out of testing. Like, you couldn't have not noticed it. So you had to have implemented something, watched it not really stick that well, and then been like, well, ship it anyways, I guess. Now, each person has their own, like, favorite weapon. In the case of the hammer, that's Haggers. He likes to chuck those things. Oops, I didn't want that there. Sorry, Lucia. <laughs> I just killed her. You know why? Because she looked at me funny, that's why. It was an accident, I'm sorry. I like your vest. So, like, there's a, like a stun rod, kind of a ton thing. And that's Dean, so he can electrify it, so he gets more out of it. I think we saw nunchucks before, I didn't bother picking up, but that's guys, unsurprisingly. Or a tonfa, maybe it was, I don't remember what it was. <laughs> but if it's that character's particular weapon, they usually get more hits and or damage out of it, so it's kind of neat. It's a little touch that is not necessary by any means, but it's still kind of fun. Ah, uh, then hold it. Ooh, I just gotta wait behind a girl and then German, su German suplex her. It's fine. That's not really a German suplex, but <laughs> I wish it was. Lucia's is a German suplex. It's better than mine, but mine does more damage, so it's cool. <laughs> and that, folks, is why we don't use the late drop. It just knocks him down and takes more time for no reason. And while we're never in a pressing situation for time, I don't think I've ever even come close to timing out in this game. We're just going to save time in the playthrough overall by not wasting time with late drops and such. That's max damage there for a grab combo. Headbutt, headbutt, jumping back suplex. Oh, I thought it was going to be a back suplex, but it was a spinning power driver and it hit Lucia. No, Lucia! <laughs> ah! Oh, <laughs> I'm fighting the Andor so well, and then May comes over and just duffs me in the face with a stiletto. Even in my idle animation, I look like a pimp. The supers can go away even during these little cutscene sort of things, so we have to be looking to use one pretty quick here, and it's gone. Eat it. I think she will if I leave it alone for a minute. We have a choice here of going up the stairs or going in the hole, but I guess she's not going to eat this food, so I will. Okay, Lucia, come on. <laughs> we'll go up, because the sunset is party. And you'll notice the sun has actually gone down a little bit between what was the last scene and this one. Not a particularly good look when they have three of the same enemy here, by the way. <laughs> They're clones. You know what? Don't worry about it. Yeah, but nope. Don't worry about it. They do this trick so that they can put more than the standard three enemies on the screen at a time. There's been four of them scattered about, although we've been killing them at a pace that makes it hard to tell. Lucy just looking at her. Or him. Longingly. She could throw him, but that would be too mean, so she just lets him go. And then I go over and murder him. Unfortunately, for the same enemy has the same problem as three of the regular enemies. It slows things down. So Drake has a uh, anchor, and it's our goal to keep him away from it because he does much worse damage when he has it. We can larry it through that jumping attack, but its, it's timing window is a little tougher than the first bosses. And the one thing we have going for us is we know he sort of wants to make his way back to the anchor, so we kind of play defense against it like that. 
He goes for it, we sneak behind him. Oh yeah, I had to not be on the ground for that. Whoops. <laughs> That's the other nice thing about it. If we lay it in the right spot, we can get a free grab right afterwards. Oh. It's a good trade, though. It does barely any damage to me. Oh, too early. We can also take advantage of when he's murdering our teammates. Oh, no, I don't want to be in this. There we go. Saved it. Uh, well, since he decided to move, do that move, let's give him a spinning pile driver for his trouble. I saved Lucia's life there. She doesn't know it, but... Oh, I have a super. Let's do that, then. Look out! Don't go over... No! Partner! Oh, he was invincible for some reason. Let's kill him. Sorry, Lucia. <laughs> Leg drop in slow motion! Sorry. No, don't run away from me. I don't... I, I'm not mean. Look at me. Lucia, no. Please. So, there's been many bonus stages throughout this series. There's like the break the car like Street Fighter. Those are all well and good. This is Stop Bulldozer. And a guy named Bull is running it. Lucy is not very helpful on this, so I don't think we can do it. But we'll try our best. It's gonna be close. We've missed a couple inputs, so we kinda have to hit almost all of them. This bulldozer, by the way, just pushing us off the pier. Ooh, it's gonna be a close one. I cannot super him because I can't grab him. Seven, six, five, four, three, up, oh, four. Perfect. So you're like, well, what happens if you don't do it in time? So it looks like you were going off the edge. Nope. Somebody else comes in and kicks the guy in the head and kills him. You just don't get any bonus.